know I'm late to the show, but who cares? It ain't a review unless I reviewed it. We have Patty LaBelle's Mac and Cheese made with cheddar, Monterey Jack cheese, and real butter. Uh, I'm going to put it in the grinder because I know the holidays are coming up, and I don't want you going out there wasting your money if it's a real pass. So, uh, Patty LaBelle's Mac and Cheese, you're going to the grinder. Packaging, of course, is beautiful. Ugh. What is this? Now, I'm a little disappointed from the first initial look. Uh, at least put some shredded cheese on top, Patty. At least try to sell us. But uh, it's, it's okay. So you got to place it on a baking sheet. You put it in the oven on 375 and you bake it for an hour. After an hour, we're going to remove the film and then we're going to bake it in an additional 10 to 15 minutes. So Patty charged a nine dollars for this. We're just trying to taste it to see, hey, do we want to buy this for our holidays to save time? So I'm gonna start this one off by saying it is better in Chick-fil-A. The longer you let it sit, the better the texture of the noodles. Throw your little salt, pepper, garlic powder on this. I mean, you ever had an aunt that married into the family and she brings her mac and cheese? That's kind of what this tastes like. But uh, Patty mac and cheese? Man.